Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning with the Missy here on the Rancho, the 16th of September. We are officially halfway through the month here. And I think we have an interesting video today. You know, Jen, I went to the Dollar Tree on, I guess it was Thursday, but I never showed the haul that we got. And I talked right. on the video, oh, let's yeah. go home and check it out. And Boy, did I get the messages. Uh, Rosie, you lazy bum, are you ever going to show <laughs> your Dollar Tree haul? Well, a couple things factored into that. Some of it we ate. <laughs> and, uh, uh, some of it we still have here to, to show, to, uh, to show. I'm on a diet, remember, right? I'm on a diet. My anyway, guys, there we go. Our big Dollar Tree haul. It is still here. This is, yeah, like, uh, this is like uh this is like 12 15 pounds of goodies for 18 bucks. The first thing that uh, Jen polished off was our <laughs> no more left yet. Sorry. Our our barbecue chips. These were home style select barbecue chips. She's sticking her finger in there to get in. Those are some, they were that, good. Those are some great chips. Yeah, for a buck for a bag for yeah. 6 ounces. They come highly recommended. They have the regular and the barbecue flavor. We would do that again in a, in a New York Minute because they were tasty, loaded with sodium and salt, just the way you like guys yeah. like them. Spices mm -hmm. of questionable origin, <laughs> just a tasty, uh, tasty so treat. Made, made I don't even want to know, a Zambia or something under supervision of British authorities or some kind. Anyway, they were really tasty. You know, the trick with some things at the Dollar Tree, you don't want to dig too deep when you're, you know, when you're uh, looking into labels and stuff like that. Ooh, Everything. Me for this with genetic engineering. Yeah, you've got to have genetic. How are you going to have good taste with that genetic engineer? Okay, so that's the first. <laughs> that's the first thing we have. Another thing that we've sampled that, that has been mm. delightful is the shortbread. They're supposed to be like a knockoff of Walker mm. shortbreads. And uh, you get four packs in here. Yeah. They're good. They've been good. Wow. And they're Missy Jan they approved. So good. You they get four, four packs of two ounces. So you're getting a mm. half a pound of shortbread for a dollar. You couldn't make good shortbread for less than five or six bucks for uh, a good pound of that. But uh, these are pretty tasty. These are made in India. In, um, <clears throat> and they were good. You know, India being a former British colony, a lot of the manufacture and a lot of the uh, recipes and things were, of course, brought by the British. But I have to say, these, Jen, these were good. These shortbreads. These breads. are amazing. You eat one, you got to eat the whole thing. <laughs> and and then, then you're thinking <laughs> about opening up another one, eating another one. So they give you four packs. Uh, basically, uh, you're basically, you're paying... 25 cents for something that they would charge you a dollar 99 checking out at the Walmart right. if they were stacked up. So great deal on that stuff. Excellent. Highly yeah, recommended. Yeah. We got some, uh, we're going to be trying this on the trip. We have an upcoming overnighter. We hope you guys will be along. This is going to be a barn burner, this one. We're going into the mouth of the lion on this trip and we'll leave it at that. Yeah. But we've got, uh, Jen, you want to, this is, you know, the Jenny O brand. Right, you've heard of Jenny O before the uh, yeah. tur Jenny turkey. O. So we'll be trying this out. This is the uh, turkey bacon, and then I'm trying to see where Jenny O. It's, it's hard sometimes to see where everything is. I actually have eaten turkey bacon a lot. Um, Minnesota, Wilmar, <clears throat> Minnesota. Because I don't eat pork, and what. The nice thing is about turkey bacon is if you microwave it, wrapped in paper towels, mm, it comes out nice and crisp too. Okay, well, we don't have that, but we did buy a microwave, as you saw yesterday, on our thrift shop. Uh, more trashy purchases at the thrift shop. And we went to Wally World. This, I thought, was another good deal. These full canisters of Pringles, Jen, for a dollar a piece. And these are Pringles, Pringles, and of course you guys like Rosie. Authentic. 
how do you know they're full? You know, Rosie, I'm always doing experimentation in the store. And it seems like there's not a huge gap. In there. And they're sealed. They're sealed. They're no not a huge gap. Okay, so they expired in 2009. They're probably still good, right? No, I'm kidding. These are uh, used by 920 2018. So they're good. I mean, this is, a, this is a Procter and Gamble product, right? So 2008. Yeah, yeah and these a... are great for travel because they don't take mm. up a lot of room. And if you want an afternoon snack, they're I great. heard this last forever. So. Yeah, there's yeah. space age technology. That's why they put them in tubes. Yeah, so. they have genuine imitation flavoring. What more could you want with that? Now, I wanted to try this. We're going to actually be having the turkey bacon <coughs> and uh, pancakes this week. And they sell like a, a light and fluffy pancake and waffle complete mix here. You just add water to it. So we do have a griddle, so we're going to be trying that out. Uh, Jen's already looking forward to breakfast on Ooh, Wednesday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wednesday. <coughs> just to add water. So we need e easy things oh, that we can Oh, we make. didn't bring the syrup in. Yeah, well, you, Jen bought a log cabin syrup to take with us. Uh, we didn't yeah, get that I at the dollar the, store. I you bought, paid up for that. I actually went to the other store and I bought the high dollar. Yeah. Good stuff. The yeah. best of the best. The for best. the best. To be the best. Top notch. Yeah, we're syrup. talking about the best high fructose corn syrup. syrup uh, no, pizza. it's actually made with sugar cane syrup. There we go. Okay, so, so Jen does cane. it up. Now we're also Tuesday night on our overnight. We're going to cook up some rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. And trust me, I've never seen rice aroni in any place around <laughs> San Francisco before. And we're going to have that with the uh, smoked sausage with chicken pork and beef, the John Morrell. We're going to take one of these and I'm just going to uh, cut that into uh, little pieces and then add that into the rice aroni. So that'll be a nice, uh, you know, just in case we didn't get our sodium blast for the day, we'll certainly get it in that uh, with the uh, sausage. So we'll let you know how that tastes. Uh, comes out of Cincinnati, Ohio, only the finest packing plants and things there. So I actually got two of them. And I think uh, for a dollar, we'll give it a shot and see what it's like. <clears throat> and then I wanted to get some spices for the road too. So I got a uh, garlic pepper seasoning for one buck. I don't think you can beat it. And uh, I don't know where this is made. This, all this stuff comes out of Greenbrier out of Chesapeake, Virginia on the lower, Easter, lower eastern shore of Virginia. So I'm not quite sure the origin of this. But uh, here you go, Jim. Yeah, that's exactly where these chips come. Yeah, they're from. all they're all Chesapeake branded, Virginia. private label branded under uh, yeah Greenbrier International. It's like their trading company for that. And then we got some minced onions. These were actually made in the USA. So I don't want to be cutting. Sometimes you can just hydrate these a little bit and then drain them, and you get the onions. And it saves you having to bring along you know onions and cutting onions and stuff like that. So. Remember, we don't want to take all our time on the road to be cooking all the time. We want kind of easy meals, but, but creative meals that you'll enjoy seeing us do. Now, my good friend Cheryl... Oh, it's made in USA. Okay, there we go. So both of the spices. So we'll be putting that in. We're going to be reorganizing the uh, bins today. Because we got too much down underneath there that we don't the need. Spices are safe. If we uh, remember... Uh, Unlimited choices is the enemy of creativity. So we want to take our we want to take our cooking gear down to just a minimum that forces us to be creative when we do stuff. Instead of having unlimited choices of stuff that we could use, we want to lower that down to just a few items, and that forces creativity automatically. Remember, Ernest Hemingway said that unlimited freedom is the enemy of creativity. That's your thought for the day to ponder. But my friend Cheryl Coyote talked about the, the cooking spray that they have there. And although we have a little cook, I think we already have one little cooking spray in there. Right. Okay, um, mm -hmm. this will be good. Cheryl talked about the coconut. We bought the uh, canola because I kind of like a neutral flavor on there. So I'll pass that to Missy J. Which reminds me, is the footy video up yet? No, it's going to go up uh, 
in a couple hours from this today. But yeah, if you we also out, got some, um, we didn't have any cups really for juice and stuff like that. So we were slumming around with uh, coffee cups and all that. So I got a 28 pack of nice plastic uh, cups there for us. Now one thing that wasn't real good that I already tried, this stuff is called uh, Swiss cheese and I don't know where this is. This is made in the USA uh, and in some place in Illinois uh, <laughs> I can't even read, the, read it, but it's it's this uh, Sunny Acres Swiss cheese, and I want to be honest with you guys, this just tasted like crap, all right? This just tasted like, uh, I don't know, it was the blandest tasting thing that uh, 30 calories a slice, so you know it's devoid of all fat, and of course fat is flavor, but... Uh, this must be made from skin. It it tastes nothing in the world. There's there's not even a hint of Swiss cheese flavor. It is flavor. from the fake cheese <clears throat> because there is something that they call fake cheese where they actually it looks like cheese. Well, this is water, food starch, mm. palm oil. I don't see, like Jen said, I don't think that there's a bit of uh, milk is like below uh, salt as, as an ingredient, milk protein. So I think you're correct, uh, Jen. I don't think that pasteurized process, process I don't think that there's a bit of, uh, looking at the list of ingredients here, water, food starch, palm oil, modified food starch, salt, all these beautiful genuine imitation flavors and stuff, sodium phosphate, stabilizers, xanthan gum, locust bean, yum yum. Now, if I don't get locust bean, I go crazy in a day. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a bit of, uh, a bit of dairy in this. So these things are a total... See, total I worked in the cheese loose. industry for five years. She was a cheese head. Now, I was working in the packaging industry, but I also was in touch with the, we were also, our company was also making the cheese, different cheeses, and I learned a little bit about the cheese recipes, and I knew our company didn't make the fake cheese, but I knew that there were other companies that did manufacture fake cheese, <clears throat> and... I put this actually yesterday to the ultimate test, and I have not tried it yet, but I had Georgie try it, Our dog. and George looked at it, he sniffed it, and he walked away. Yeah, so you can try that. But anyway, guys, while she's sampling that, the oh-so-delicious genuine imitation cheese, I spent the $18 on that, and uh, I don't know, Jen, it's just tasteless. It's just devoid of any flavor at all. It's, uh, you know, they got to work with international flavors and fragrances to kind of boost that up, because that's a loser. But I think you guys can see the other stuff that we got here for that price, I think, made it a, a, a kind of a good deal there. So, And I also had a tuna that I ate, a dollar can of bumblebee tuna. It was good. I already ate that on my um, on my dinner the other night. So yeah, okay, there it is. That was our Dollar Tree haul, plus a little bit of our commentary on the side. I want to thank you so much for being along this morning. We always have fun. Stay tuned for future Dollar Tree hauls. We're gonna go, we're gonna let Missy Jan loose in the, <laughs> the Dollar Tree. That should really be a who. She'll have like a. Well, we carry these home, 10 of these. <laughs> 10 of these. All right, everybody, happy Saturday to you. Lots of good stuff coming up this weekend. Stay tuned. Friday night foodies, Friday night restaurant review will be next. That was a barn burner, too, literally. Talking about <laughs> coconut. Oh, yeah. All right, have a great Friday, everybody. Mm -hmm.